We've got a mated queen in here in the cell builder. I'm extremely confused now where this queen came from. She's obviously mated. She looks, she looks like she's mated. She's big. She's got partial green mark on her, but not, not really visible, but you can see there, she's got remnants of a green mark. All right, so it's been about a week since I've been out here. Got real busy with work and life and all kinds of other projects here. This is my cell builder I built uh, probably a little over a week ago. Uh, didn't really think that through, got busy, and uh, haven't been back into it. So I'm guessing it's uh, in need of some attention. I have to go through it and figure it out. Got some nukes here that I need to go through and see where they're at. I put some cells into uh, several of these. These were uh, set up as uh, mating nukes. All right, so I just went through these nukes real quick. This one here is queenless because I sold the queen. They've made queen cells, so I'm going to let them just do their thing for now. This one here, absconded. Second time this year that this box has, uh, has been found empty, so I'm not sure if it's coincidence or something to do with the box. So it's been a little over a week since I turned this into a cell builder. I put five frames of brood in here and uh, filled the feeders up with sugar syrup and a couple of uh, blank uh, frames in there for them to work on. So um, my intention was to graft about five days after I made this. Um, got busy, things happen, and haven't been back in here for probably, it's probably more than a week, probably been about nine days. So. I'm gonna open this up and see where things are at. So this Apame Hive is a seven frame new hive. I got this at the uh, Bee Expo. And the, uh, picked it up at the silent auction that was going for the uh, money they were raising for the youth program there. So I really want this to be my cell builder. I think it's very convenient, easy to use. And they really haven't done anything here. That's a frame uh, that I waxed up. So it looks like I put uh, one, two, three, four frames of brood in here and three frames of foundation. So We'll see where they're at. They've been full of brood. Looks like a lot of the brood, most of this was all sheets of brood, all uh, capped. It looks like they're steadily hatching out. And I'll have to replace some of this brood now that I waited so long. But it's good to see that it's hatching out and the bees uh, stayed here and uh, should have a bunch of young bees in here. So this should work out just fine. Don't see any queen cells. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Oh, here's one. Nothing in it. I think the Apame is a good uh, cell builder here in Michigan because it's insulated. I think that would be beneficial as we get these weather swings. You get all, you know, you're packing this thing full of brood. A um, little extra insulation can't hurt. Don't see any uh, any cells yet besides the one that was empty there. Still quite a bit of brood on this side. It's all pretty much capped. It's just a cup there. So that's good news. Looks like it's in uh, good condition to go ahead and graft. Probably throw some more bees in here. Happy to see the bees are not um, too upset and agitated being queenless.
It's about 60 degrees today. It's a little chilly, but not bad. You can just feel the heat and the warmth coming out of this colony. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so all the cells that have hatched, oh, here's a queen. And she's marked, she's marked green. So this was a queen from this year. And the mark is on her, but it's kind of coming off. So now I'm very confused. Very confused. Don't know exactly how she got in there. All of these frames came from uh, other boxes in the apiary. I just went through different colonies, pulled out one frame from each. So this was, these frames were out of four different uh, overwintered colonies. She looks mated to me. She looks large enough. Checking for eggs now. Yeah, this whole frame is full of eggs. All this center here is eggs. Okay. I'm wondering now, actually, if this hive, there was a hive next door. The one that I said uh, absconded and had absconded twice. And I'm wondering if she flew out on a mating flight and landed back in this box instead. So you can see the apame, the dark brown nuke here was actually about right here. I just moved it here a minute ago when I was putting this box up to set my camera on. I'm wondering if she came out of this hive, went out and got mated and came back and landed in the apame. Really not sure. But uh, either way, we've got a mated queen in there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is move her out because this is my cell builder. I really don't want a queen in here. All right, so she's right here. I'm gonna take this whole frame. All right, she's on there. I'm gonna take this whole frame, put it down here. And my thought process here is these guys were queenless. Uh, right before I moved it, I went in there and knocked down a couple of uh, cells that they had made because I had sold this queen. So I'm going to smoke them up. Got my new smoker out here today, first time for this year. I don't know if that works. Uh, that's how I was taught. When you put a queen into a, you know, if you put brood, like if you move over a frame of brood with uh, neighboring bees on it, smoke the hive real good. If you put a new queen in there, smoke it real good. So we'll see. All right, so she's in there now. It's a mixed colony, but I put a whole frame of her bees in there with her. So hopefully that helps. Hit them with some smoke to try to cloud up the pheromones. And I'm just gonna leave them alone for two or three days and I'll come back and check on them. All right, well that was kind of weird, but uh, I guess good in a way. Got a queen that I believe she's one of the queens I grafted and she came back mated. So not completely sure, but that's what I'm gonna go with. So I'll find a frame of brood from one of the deep colonies as I go through them here in a minute and add a uh, frame of cat brood to this so it's ready to go for a cell builder. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. Uh, I'm still a little bit confused as to how that all happened, but um, I guess what happens when you don't get in your bees for a little over a week or so. Um, but either way, we've got uh, a mated queen in the other box now. so. I'll check on her in a few days to see what happens and we'll get this cell builder uh, back to where it needs to be. So this colony here on the left, pretty cool to see. 
they got a queen in there. I don't know if you can tell. This was chewed out. This is one of the cells I grafted. So that's awesome to see. So they were queenless. And I had grafted. And I put one of my graft cells in there. She was accepted. I found her in there. She's not laying yet. She looks mated to me. Uh, she's got a big, big, long abdomen. She uh, looks bigger than a virgin queen that I've seen in the past, but uh, we will see. I'll check on them again in a few days. And I'm just going through these colonies, um, seeing what's going on with them. So I'm hoping right before the honey flow starts that I can separate these boxes and uh, add a mated queen to one of them. We'll see. I had put some frames up here that needed repair work. And it's probably hard to see on camera, but the bees are repairing it. This is all newer here. A little bit of newer right there, so that's good to see. This is full of uh, probably sugar syrup. Maybe some nectar. There's been a lot of talk in our local Facebook groups around here about uh, nectar coming in. I'm really not seeing that. Um, the apple trees are bloomed. I've seen that. That's about it. The autumn olive are getting ready to bloom. I think that's our one of our big first flows here. We'll see. That's one of the reasons I wanted to get in here today and see if there's fresh wax and if there's you know, stores, you know, nectar being put away. Now this kind of has that nectar look to it. It's uh, fresh white wax. So maybe there is a flow starting. So this is all hatched and then she's got eggs all through here. So she relayed this whole frame. My hope was that I could build these, add these seconds on, and then they would build them up. Then I could add a queen and have two singles going into the honey flow. So we'll see, see if that works out or not. Kind of looks about the same down here. This colony is a little smaller. I stole a frame of uh, brood out of here cap brood for the uh, cell builder a week ago. This frame's all garbage. I'm going to change this one out. Empty. Bunch of pollen. Not much going on in here. Probably need to be in a single, not a double. Some brood. Some queen cups. Empty. So three frames of brood. And then about two frames up top. So not super impressive. Nothing special with this colony. All right, so this hive right here was worth uh, turning the camera on for. A little bit hard to see, I just smoked them down, but about nine frames of bees here. And the same thing here, double deep. I just went through the top, which is, is the one we're looking at now. Um, the center is packed full of brood, and then the two frames on each side are full of nectar. Uh, down here, Mostly uh, brood in the middle and then the outside two or three frames just packed full of nectar. So um, Didn't see any swarm cells saw a ton of swarm cups, but no no actual eggs or royal jelly in any of them. So uh, Maybe there is a nectar flow. I grabbed a couple supers. I'm gonna split this hive and just do a walk away split 
I'll come back in three or four days and figure out where the queen is. And I'm going to put some supers on it and see what happens. All right, so the bottom box stayed put. I put a honey super on with drawn comb. And there's plenty of brood in there. Eggs, larvae, everything they need. And then I just came over here and put the top over here. Same thing, honey super with drawn comb. So for right now, it's a walk away. You can see it's pretty close. The purple box there to the right. We'll see what happens. Um, see how many of these bees over here on this box stay put. There's a ton of brood in there, so I think a lot of them will stay. And I'm not sure which box the queen's in just yet. I'll figure that out in a few days. But uh, we'll see. Maybe there is a little flow starting. And uh, I see a, quite a bit of nectar in some of these colonies that are bigger. So it might be time. All right, so everything's looking good. Made it through all the colonies. A uh, quick run down here. Queen right nuke on the end here. Uh, she's a queen that I want to breed from, uh, graft from, so I'm going to put her in an isolation cage very soon. Uh, the purple hive is a mating nuke. They're doing just fine. Orange hive here, absconded. They're empty. It was a mating nuke, but they're gone. This is a uh, nuke that has a queen cell in it, so we're going to let them go do their thing. I went through the apame. I added another frame of uh, capped brood. And we found a random queen in there. So she got put down in this box. So we'll check on them in a couple days. This box absconded. They're empty. I think that's where the uh, apame queen came from. But uh, we will see. Went through all these hives. The one here on the left had a uh, cell that I had grafted and put in there. That queen is uh, out and looking good. The others are uh, queen right. We've got uh, these two here on, on the closest side to me are queen right, looking good, looking strong. The two in the front, I did uh, walk away splits on. They were big and, and uh, they had filled two boxes and they were overwhelming, the two boxes. So uh, both of those got walkaway splits. One got a honey super just so I could test the waters and see if they're bringing in nectar. This hive here in the front, looking great. Here's part of that walk away from over there. Here's the other part. And then these two hives in the back, uh, queen right singles um, not plugged out yet still looking good still have a little space in there so I just left them as singles um, they got lots and lots of brood and uh, hopefully here they'll uh, get ready for some supers so all in all it was a great day got through all the colonies um, did a couple splits so we increased the numbers by two Got the nukes looking right, got the queen builder where it needs to be. And uh, we'll probably get out here and graft in the next day or so. And hopefully the weather turns for the better and we're ready to bring in some honey. Thanks for watching, I appreciate everyone. Y'all take care.